Hi, we are Mallory and CJ Steck, and we are the owners of a lawn and landscape company down in sunny Jacksonville, Florida, where we got started back in 2018. We've got an awesome crew, amazing views, and of course, plenty of work to be done every single day. Not every day goes as planned, but we sure know how to have fun along the way. We're looking forward to sharing our journey with you. So come on, we are Steck Ventures Lawn and Landscape. Hi guys, Mallory here with Steck Ventures Lawn and Landscape. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do some of my basic landscaping sketches. As you can see, I go ahead and get my palette clear. I shade over any obstacle that might be in my way and I define the bed space. So here you see me just shading in some grass where a little bit of brown spot was so that I just know the defined bed space versus the defined grass space. And I'm going ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in um, an oak leaf holly here. She wanted a topiary on either side of the doorway, and I thought this was a good choice for her. I'm no artist at all, people. I'm just trying to draw a basic sketch to give the client an idea of plant placement. And now that I'm done with that, I want to go ahead and get the mulch put in here. The client requested black mulch, so I'm just going to shade with some black to get our base layer down so that I can draw the rest of the plants on top of it. So just do a basic outline and then I just shade everything in. Sorry about the shaky camera work guys. Alright and after I finish shading in I'm going to go ahead and start with my plant selection. And one plant I know that this client requested was Laura Petalum Burgundy. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch some of those in. Now the client didn't want anything lined up directly against the house. She wanted things kind of spaced out, um, kind of a somewhat airy scape um, with nothing in perfect lines. So that's why you see me kind of scattering the plants around in this one. A lot of times I do line things up against the house, but... Um, for this one, I did things just a little bit different. So you can see I'm working on placing the lower petalum trunks here. And then I'm going to use just kind of a pinky purpley color to try to draw the leaves. It's definitely not a direct match to what the color of lower petalum exactly are. But you've just got to use what you can. And these are the colors that I have to work with. So I'm just filling those in here. And then next, I'm going to draw in some sunshine ligustrums. The client wanted a few of those as well. And as you can see, I'm working with odd numbers. That's always important to do kind of a rule of odds. It, it just really is more appealing to the eye. So as best you can, try not to use even numbers when planting um, odd numbers. Um, for some reason, it's just more visually appealing. So I'm getting those sunshine ligustrums put in here. And next, you see him pointing to the crotons over at the neighbor's house. Our homeowner really liked those. And um, so we're going to use some of those in her design as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get those drawn in here. I'm going to use Petra crotons for this one. Just getting those drawn in. So probably going to do about five of those. Alrighty, and crotons have a lot of color in them, so I'm going to come back in and add some green and red just to kind of distinguish the variation of color in these plants. There we go. And then the last plant I'm going to add in is just some golden lantana. Beautiful plant, really easy um, to manage because they're little to no care. They require a little bit of trimming every now and then, but other than that, they're super easy to maintain. So I'm just going to get some green stems going, and then I'll do the yellow buds. I think I'm going to do about seven of these, just sticking with that rule of odds. 
And um, I think the yellow will look really nice since we've already got the sunshine ligustrums with some yellow, the crotons with some yellow. I really like to stick with kind of not too matchy-matchy, but a good color theme. So wrapping those up here. And that's about it. So just a good basic sketch to give the client a good idea of what they're going to be getting.